Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are embarking on a journey into the world of homeopathy and shining a spotlight on homeopathic medicine with the unique healing properties. So yes, I'm talking about Magnesia Phosphorica or simply MagFos. So if you are curious about homeopathy or seeking natural alternatives for certain health concerns, then this video is definitely for you. So join me as we unravel the characteristics, indications and potential benefits of Magnesium Phosphorica in homeopathic medicine. Let's talk about MagFos. So homeopathic medicine MagFos is derived from magnesium phosphate, which is inert in its crude state. When it when it goes through when it grow, when it goes through potentization process, process of preparing homeopathic medicines through which the medicinal properties of a crude substance are aroused. So it gets converted into a homeopathic medicine, magnesia phosphorica, of great use. It is one of the it is one among the 12th biochemic med medicines in homeopathy, which is called as Schusler's 12 tissue remedies. It is most helpful in managing stomach cramps, menstrual cramps, muscle pain, and nerve pain and sciatica. Now, next we'll talk about the constitution of MAGFOS. So this medicine is suitable for the person who feel tired and exhausted. It is best, it is best suited for the young people and also to the babies during teething. Next, we'll talk about the drug action of the MACFOS. So MACFOS has its most remarkable action on the gastric system, female genitals, limbs, muscles, and nerves. And it acts well on the neck, back, eye, face, and teeth. Next, we'll talk about the clinical indications of MACFOS. So MACFOS can be used for abdominal pain, stomach cramps, colic, painful menses, sciatica, neuralgia, facial neuralgia, cramps, writer's cramp, headache, Parkinson's disease, toothache and vaginismus. Now, in order to make it understandable to you people, now one by one, I will be explaining each and every indication in an elaborated manner so that you can understand it very well. So let's talk about the scope of a magnesium force as a homeopathic medicine. So first use of MAC force is for the gastric issues. First use is for the gastric issues like abdomen pain, stomach cramps and diarrhea. So let's talk about it. So magnesium FOS has provided action on the gastric system to manage various gastric problems. So, be, so to begin with, it is a magnificent medicine to help cases of abdomen pain, stomach cramps, and colic. The pain may get better by applying warm applications, bending double, that is upper body bend forward and then downwards, and applying pressure. Mag FOS is very beneficial for the flatulent colic, means a pain which is caused by accumulation of the gas in the abdomen which causes fullness and blotting in the abdomen. It is also a bell indicator to relieve abdomen pain, which is caused due to gas in the babies. And other than this, it is also useful in treating cutting, cramping, and shooting pain in the stomach. There may be relief from burping. A person may also feel nausea and vomiting. MAGFOS can be used when pain is felt around the navel that radiate to the back. This medicine can also be given for treating cases of diarrhea that is loose tooth, and its use is preferred when loose stool is attended with vomiting and cramping pain in the calf muscles in the back of your lower leg. Next use of MAGFOS is for the pain management. So MAGFOS is a top listed homeopathic medicine for managing pain in different types. So it is basically used for managing different types of pains. Firstly, it is a marvelous medicine for relief in muscle pains and nerve pain that is neuralgia. The nature of pain to use it can be shooting, cutting, sharp, stitching, and cramping type pain. Pain can be rendering that changes us, that changes its location rapidly from one place to another. Pain get worse at night and better after taking rest. The nerve pain get better by applying heat. And most of the time, pain is located on the right side of the body. MAGFOS is also effective in managing abdomen pain that gets better by bending double and applying pressure and warmth. Pain during periods and menstrual cramps can be managed wonderfully with this medicine. One feels relieved by bending double and hot applications. Applications. The next use of MAGFOS is for the female problems, problems like painful periods, ovarian pain, and vaginismus. So this medicine proves very effective in getting rid of many female problems. It is one of the best medicine for the painful cramps in the periods. MAGFOS manage menstrual cramps and female requiring it may feel better by bending double and from hot applications. 
They may also have early menses with a dark stringy blood flow. Macfos is a prominent medicine to Macfos is a prominent medicine to deal with the ovarian pain which is shooting and darting in nature. It is worse on the right side and use of this medicine is also considered to treat vaginismus which is involuntary contraction of the vaginal muscles when something is trying to enter it. Next use of macfos is for the limbs complaint like sciatica, cramps, joint pain, Parkinson's disease. So it is an important medicine to manage numerous complaints which are related to the limbs. Firstly, it is highly recommended to manage sciatica, pain along sciatic nerves that begin in the lower back and radiate down the hip, down the back of the thighs and legs up to feet is called sciatica. Magnesium force work well in right-sided sciatica where feet are very tender means pain on touching. Secondly, it is a top listed homeopathic medicine to manage cramps. It gives good result in cases of cramps in the legs and feet which occurs mainly at night and while in the bed. Its use is also suggested for the cramps that follows after any kind of exertion. And another main indication for its use is writer's cramp a disorder which is characterized by involuntary contractions of muscles of the hands and the fingers while writing. This medicine can be used to treat joint pain as well, which is very severe. Lastly, MAGFOS gives good result in cases of Parkinson's disease with involuntary shaking of the hands. Parkinson's disease is a disorder of the nervous system that starts with shaking of one of the hand at rest, followed by other symptoms like showing down of the movements, rigid muscles, impaired posture, balance issues, and changes in the speech. Next use of MAGFOS is for the eye problems like twitching, tosses, squint, nystagmus, and supraorbital pain. So MAGFOS can be, so MAGFOS can manage eyelid twitching, which is a repetitive involuntary contractions of the muscles of the eye, and medically known as blepharospasms. It is also useful for supraorbital pain, pain which is felt above the eyebrows, on the right side which gets relieved by warmth. Its use is next considered in cases of tosses. Tosses means drooping of the upper eyelid. And it can be used in cases of squint means strabismus. And another indication to use magfos is nystagmus which means involuntary and the repetitive eye movements. Next use of MACFOS is, is for the facial problems like facial pain, neuralgia, and twitching. So MACFOS proves very effective in treating cases of facial neuralgia of the right side. There is a shooting, cramping, darting pain on the right side of the face. It gets worse on opening the mouth and by washing face with the cold water. MACFOS can be of great benefit for treating trigeminal neuralgia when even the slightest touch causes the pain. Trigeminal neuralgia refers to shivia electric shock like pain in the face due to pressure on the trigeminal nerve or its damage or injury another characteristic feature another characteristic feature to use magfos is twitching of the facial muscles the next use of magfos is for the toothache so if we talk about the teeth complaints magfos is well indicated to manage toothache it is used when toothache is better from warmth and drinking hot liquids it is worse from eating cold food and drinking cold drinks. The teeth are sensitive to touch. If toothache is arising from decay of the teeth, this medicine can prove very beneficial. Pain in the tooth that has undergone a recent filling can also be well managed with MACFOS. Now last use of MACFOS is for the neck and the back pain. So lastly, it acts well on the neck and the back. It gives good, it, it, it gives good relief in cases of pain and stiffness of the neck. The pain in the neck is sharp, shooting type, where it is indicated. The neck is also sore and painful on touch. Next, MACFOS is beneficial in managing sore pain in, the, sore pain in the lower back. Cramps in the back may be present in cases needing it. So these are the base conditions where magnesium phosphorica can be used successfully. Now next, we'll talk about the doses. So MACFOS can be used from low to high potencies. Among these, the most frequent use potency is 6x potency, which can be taken 3 or 4 times a day depending on the severity of the problem. And it works best when taking by dissolving tablets in the hot water. So that's all for today.
If you find this video informative, helpful and especially valuable, so please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell for more insights into the world of homeopathy and natural healing. And thank you so much for joining me on this exploration of MacFoss in homeopathic medicine. Take care. Until next time, see you guys in the next video. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy. And if you are suffering from any of the health issues, you can contact us for online appointments. On the screen, you can see how to contact us for online consultations. So that's it for now. And thanks for watching this video.